Customer put the transfer case in far low on the highway. And the transfer case. All right, let's go take a look at this thing. Oh God. As you can see here, the whole gearbox and transfer case has blown apart. And also, if you look closely, you see the um, drive shaft snapped into two. The fuck do people do with these things? Holy shit! So, Bill, what do you want to do today? Oh, I don't know, Bob. Let's take this F550 and run it off a cliff. Then let's take it to the Ford dealership. Okay. Customer states that when you push on the brake pedal really hard, it sounds like there is a child screaming under the dash. Aaron is now putting his foot on the brake, and as you can hear, there's the air leaking underneath the pedal plunger. And you see it in a second. Okay, guys, quick explanation of what's going on here. This has what's known as vacuum boost, brake assist. And when you push in the pedal, it pushes in that plunger. But if we have a leak, hear that slight hissing sound? Let me push really hard. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. We start leaking vacuum and it causes that squealing sound. And it also hinders brake performance. Customer says this vehicle has a wobble while driving. This uh, mechanic is uh, driving uh, the car, test driving it. That's the wheel. And as you can see, Doing the wheel's wobbling. The I'm gonna try and let that's go. Uh, a wheel bearing or a ball joint what that's the failing. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? I've never been so scared to do over 30 miles an hour in my entire life, and yeah, he drove it here. Let's go find out what the fuck's going on. All right, shake that motherfucker. Shake it the other way. Yeah, we don't need that hub bearing. Well, the right side sway bar bushing is on the left side. And there's the bracket. Just install new calipers, but we uh, missed this. Oh man, the longer I look at this thing, the worse it gets. His cab corners aren't rusted out. That's cool. Customer states, just purchased the used vehicle and will not start unless you turn the air conditioner on. Hmm. Most uh, hybrid cars will not uh, put the engine on when there's no load needed from the engine. And now he's putting the AC on and then uh, the AC is driven by a belt which attached to the engine so the engine needs to run. Oh, oh you know, your used car you just bought, it might be a hybrid. Yeah, we're going to rule that out as normal operation. The vehicle uh, is a hybrid and when there's no load required, we're not going to run the engine. But sometimes these little used car shops don't tell the customer what they're purchasing. They just see it out on the lot. It's shiny. They like it. Oh, taking money. See? Customer states, brakes just started making noise. And not only noise, I think also some brake performance uh, is missing here. Well, customer states, truck won't start, just clicks. Just clicks, that means the starter motor is maybe a problem, or the battery got too low voltage, so... We will find it out in well, a second. We had it towed in, and the customer has already put a new battery on here. And uh, I've been doing my checks and making sure I've got, uh, you know, everything's good and tight and everything's tight. But check it out. Guys, I can't make this shit up. Those caps are supposed to come off the battery post before you put the cable on. Boy, I tell you what, this is some jerry-rigged stuff here. But I'm going to put it back like he had it. He may have some kind of spray. Customer state after filter replacement. Uh, most brand new parts, they come in plastic and... Uh, <laughs> 
you supposed to, uh, yeah, remove it before, uh, yeah, installing. Customer states. Just switch my summer tires for my studded winter tires. Uh, some customers are scared to get robbed by the uh, mechanic shops, but uh, as you can see, this brakes is uh, dangerous. Customer states. He's going to Mexico at six o'clock tonight. It's two thirty, and. Uh, as you can see, this customer want uh, a fast fix. And the wheel bearing is, uh, yeah, gone. And look at this, all the oil. You get a massive oil leak. But when you have an oil leak, there's no this dude rust just said, issue. Did you fill his washer <laughs> <fluid>? <laughs> just oil caked up everywhere, all over this damn thing. But you know what? He's gonna go to Mexico. So in celebration of him getting an oil change so he can make it to Mexico, he is Mexico bound, baby. What's this shit need? Uh, driver rear hub, rear main seal, oil pan gasket, and four tires. <laughs> Going to Mexico, Mexico bound, baby. Going to Mexico. I think the we customer have some is complaining about a leak after a coolant flush. Customer states that that did not happen until Devin over here did a coolant flush. But when you do a coolant flush, you don't even touch that sensor. Mind you, this has been happening ever since the coolant flush, and we did that coolant flush a year ago. Customer states noise when turning left, like whistling. Yeah, this is what happens when you have uh, kids in the car. Bringing their toys with them. Customers complaining about noise underneath the car. The drive shaft is making a lot of noise. Customer states, customer is complaining about Christmas tree on the dash. This is what happens when you drive over a big boulder and just don't give a damn. This is Aaron again, and he, of course he is making a joke. Then we hook this in to the wheel. We open it up, wait for it to fire up, and we're going to start the balance wheel procedure. I don't have time to wait for my computer to load. That's going to take a little while, but that's how you computer balance wheels and tires in a nutshell. Customer states, golf cart doesn't run. Customer states thinks transmission needs to be replaced, maybe transfer case. Well, fuck bud. You might need to. Holy fuck. So on today's episode of customer states, the customer states that when you turn up the fan speed, we don't get much out of the vents. This is what happened when a squirrel or any other creature who like nuts lives in your car. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That would be why you don't have any air blowing out your vents. Oh my god, it never ends. It's way up in there. Alright, well now I gotta pull the blower out and clean it out too. Mm -mm. Set. My, uh, this is stock. what happens when Here's you don't change your oil Something very bad. often. Oh yeah. Damn, that's the fucking oil. 
That's the oil. Customer states, engine has a very loud knocking sound. Let's have a listen. This sounds like there's something inside the intake manifold and that's clicking. Customer states that his vehicle died after leaving his LED lights on. Customer attempted to jump the vehicle and had the jumper cables hooked up backwards. Started to see smoke. Inspect and advise. Ouch. On a brand new Ranger. That sucks, dude. And this is what happened when you don't know much about cars and jumper cables and stuff like that. We have some service messages. Lots of service messages. So. We'll have to take it inside and see if anything got damaged, burn up, maybe just some blown fuses, if he's lucky. And I will update you guys. Customer states, ABS light on after installing own level kit at This home. is also one of the reasons well, why you're getting blinded by uh, 20, 20 yeah, the headlights from other vehicles. Customer stated, this car hasn't been to a mechanic shop anymore. in a while. I think I see the problem. This is what happened when a friend can do it cheaper. Oh. 